Hey everybody, Ed Homewood, Old Guy Hi-Fi Channel. Hope you're all doing well today. I just wanted to do a quickie review on the Canto YU4 powered speakers that I've got here on my desktop. We picked these up at Expona. Thank you very much, Canto. And I just wanted to do a quick review. You can see how my rig is. Normally I have a different pair of speakers there and I'm actually gonna do a video on what my normal desktop rig is. But I'm gonna go ahead and take these, disconnect them, reset, and then I'll show you the back and some of the features of the units themselves. So here are the YU4s. Very nice, elegant design, nice cabinet, solidly built, four inch Kevlar woofer, one inch soft dome tweeter. This happens to be the slave. So a uh, binding post on the back to connect to the main speaker, as you can see, ported design, very well laid out. They did come out of the box with little rubber feet on them. And then the main unit is here. And what I'm gonna do is reset and give you a close up of the back of the unit so you can actually see how it connects. But here you can see the back of the units. And again, binding posts on the slave. On the main unit itself, it does have a 70 watt RMS Class D amplifier built in. So I'm gonna assume 35 watts per speaker. Line in on RCA and an auxiliary in on 3.5 millimeters. So if you're connecting your phone with a headphone cable, you can do that. The line in can be configured as either a phono in, because it has a phono preamp, or a line in. And if you're using the phono input, there's your grounding terminal does have a subwoofer output, no base management, just a mono sub output, a USB type A for charging your device, phone, tablet, whatever you're connected. Um, you can also connect obviously via Bluetooth, Aptex Bluetooth, main power, IEC uh, power socket, again, banana plug terminal on the output for the slave speaker. And then there is two optical inputs. Now, one of the things I ran into was my computer doesn't have an optical output. So I went on Amazon, and found this little device from Duke Audio, which takes a USB in and gives you a Toslink and coax output. And that's what made it work really, really easy. This can also help you if you have a receiver that doesn't have a USB in and only a, a optical or coax input. So it's a really nice little piece. There'll be a link in the description below uh, for the video of how to get one of these. And there will also be a link to these. It will be an Amazon affiliate link. Uh, I do make a teeny tiny little commission, uh, but it doesn't affect what you pay. Um, and so that's that. So let me pull back and give you a summary on this. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and reset. Well, there we are with the Canto YU4 speakers. Very nice little product. I highly recommend them. They do sound quite good. Uh, they sound better than I expected. And that's really uh, the pleasant surprise is decent bass, real good mid-range, nice smooth top end. Um, they really sounded good. Uh, especially nice compact size, so they fit on a desk really well. They'll fit as a soundbar replacement really well as too. Um, so anyway, highly recommended. If you like what I'm doing, please give me a like, please subscribe. About 80% of the folks that watch my videos aren't subscribed, and I would really appreciate it if you did. We're eking closer and closer to a thousand subscribers, and I'd love to get there soon if I could. Um, also too, please comment. Um, I appreciate your comments. I respond to your comments. I love hearing about everybody's experience and thoughts and so forth. Uh, and sometimes we share some funny stuff back and forth. So again, a comment is great. Also, please ring the, click the bell notification. So when I drop a new video, you'll get notified. And if you wouldn't mind, share it with friends that you think might be interested. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch the video. This is Ed Homewood, Old Guy Hi-Fi Channel, signing off.